I'm recording this video because I can barely breathe. I'm waking up in the morning. I've been out here in the cold. I have a Section 8 voucher and services like a abode services housing location locators have not been helping me these people have been very discriminating towards me and i know that a lot of antonio my grandson dad has a lot to do with it him and his family they've been trying to block me from housing out here because his family and friends live out towards this way and instead of them being professionals they have been basically mocking me, talking about me, talking about how I look, how what, how fat I am, instead of doing their professional job. I'm getting sicker and sicker out here in this cold, in this wheelchair, and nobody is helping me establish Section 8 permanent housing and taking it serious. They almost like they're trying to have me and Anthony die out on the streets in the wheelchair. If something happens to me, I'm recording this video to put up on the YouTube channel because I have been sick and they know it and they have been neglecting me and they, the state itself have been allowing people to discriminate against me and to harass me and to follow me. And, and, to, and to every county I go in to basically block me from housing or try to block me from shelter. So if something happens to me out in California, you know why. You know exactly why. Right now, I'm at the Menlo Park uh, Church and I'm being watched, but they're not helping me. They're watching me. Cops are watching me. But no one is helping me get into permanent housing. They're more into criminalizing me and getting people to come and approach me and aggravate me and provoke me instead of seeing me in my medical condition into permanent housing. Like they're so hateful and they're so spiteful that they'd rather see me die out on the street than to see me into to be happy over the holiday and to be at the permanent housing. <laughs>